All right, so let's go over. I get, I get some questions here and there about tools, what you need to uh, start out. So this is all the tools you're gonna need as far as I'm concerned. Now, disclaimer, obviously if you're a specialty carpenter or specialty handyman, and if you only do certain things and you're not gonna need most of these tools, you might not need any, any of these tools. If you only do tile, you know, there's no tile uh, tools in this uh, except for the grinder. But uh, there's no tile tools in this video because it's a specialty. Uh, plumbing wise, if you're, if you're a plumber, get the plumbing tools you're gonna need. Uh, electrical tools, there's some electrical in here because it's, it's general. Uh, so if you're a specialty trade, just be on your merry way because <laughs> it's not really gonna apply to you. But if you want a general purpose of tools to carry to get pretty much everything you're gonna need to get done, done, then we will, uh, We'll go through this because this is this is for you. This is for what I what I accumulated over um, well a long time. And when I was a weekend warrior, because I had a full time job, and you know I just accumulate tools that way you have enough tools to get jobs done. This is going to be a two phase, like the phase one or you know chapter one is the basic tools you're going to need. You can get most everything done. Yeah, you're going to struggle with some things, but you can get stuff done. And then a phase two is going to be where you've been making money and you want to invest into saving your day, saving your back, saving your time, uh, and making more money, being more efficient. Then that's going to be the second phase of this. And then the third phase, you know, we can talk about it, but I'm not even at the third phase, so I can't really talk about it. Um, that would be like the big boys, you know, if you want to get like a um, sky, you know, a, what do you call them, a, a lift and... Uh, you know, Tarek, you know, you, you know, it depends on what you want to go into, but, uh, you know, multiple, multiple vehicles, multiple, um, systems, stuff like that. So I'm not there, but this is what I got to show you guys. Uh, if, if I had to go all over again, I'd just go straight by these tools real quick, just to make sure I can cover my basis and get things taken care of. So let's get into it. If you want to be a handyman or contractor, is a dump trailer. Right there. That's the first thing you need right there. No. Obviously, it's that's BS. Kind of funny, but it's BS. All right, let's get into it. All right, so here we go. We're going to, there's no in particular order. I'm going to go over everything right here. You can get pretty much everything you need to get done, done. Uh, and then I'll, I'll show you some of my drawers for the small stuff here. But you, everybody, you just get yourself some drill bits. These are consumables, but drill bits. Orbital sander, uh, you'd be surprised how much you need it. If you're cutting something, you need to take something down, make it make it look good, take some rough edges off something. It comes in super handy for sure. Uh, demo tools, um, so depending on what you're gonna do, but you have a basic set of demo tools, like maybe a three pound hammer, uh, sawzall, this thing comes in handy so much. Very, very, not even for demo, but if you need to just cut something because you cut something too long, it comes extremely in handy. Get yourself a, a sawzall, cock gun, we got coax uh, tools. Coax is a low hanging fruit. I put these in here because everybody should learn how to coax uh, or run coax and do F connections because they're so easy, easy money in case you cut something. Uh, just, just learn it. Uh, light. So I got two lights here, uh, basic light. So headlamp, hands-free headlamp, and then something stationary. If you're under a sink, you can just prop that up and keep it going. Tape measure, get yourself a razor knife. Uh, this is gonna be obviously your paint can. Opener, we're going to the paint stuff. Paint's super simple. We'll just do that real quick here. So paint is up to you. Get yourself some brushes, some nine inch rollers. I use Corona brushes, but use whatever you need to. A little expensive, but they're fantastic. They're the top, my favorite. And then like an extension or two. Uh, doesn't have to be a six foot extension. Get yourself a four foot, depending on what you want to do. And uh, mud trays for mudding. Basic, basic stuff. And they're very very cheap you can be you can be a painter for very cheap um, you just practice it makes a tr it's a skill so practice it and be done with it um, so we got uh, not cockneys but uh, drywall you got yourself eight inch a five inch or six inch you got yourself a 45 uh, so these are just basic tools you know just practice on your home they're super 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 easy super cheap uh, just to you know it takes skill so we're going to go with a tor magnet, magnetic torpedo level. You're mounting TVs, anything you need to you know, slap a magnet onto, or it doesn't have to be a magnet, just make sure something's level. Diagonal cutters, marker, wire strippers with a little needle nose, um, more of a needle nose. Uh, we got a 90 degree quarter inch hex 
um, adapter here so you can get into tight spaces. It really, it really helps out. Gloves, these are all your hand tools, obviously. Uh, like 11 in one, five in one screwdrivers, mini screwdriver, uh, extension screwdriver. This is great for um, wall plates and um, you know pretty much everything you need for a small one. Regular uh, screwdriver number three. So you got a nut driver, putting stuff together. Uh, this is also you use it for the electrical, but you know putting things together, cribs, stuff like that. You can always use those for flat edge with the hammer, so you can use it just just to beat stuff. Um, another screwdriver. This is obviously your fat, your fatter. I'm not sure what number it is. This is uh, I can't see it, but get yourself one. Uh, lines, lines and pliers. Uh, these are fantastic for cutting. Sorry, I don't know who's blowing my phone up. Drywall knife. You just cutting out holes. Just make it make it happen. And this is a drywall square coming back here just so you can do your basic cuts for drywall hammer obviously drive those nails in use a hammer scissors tape bit set quarter inch uh, bit set just any driver set you got your quarter inch impact right here I call this mandatory yeah you have a drill right here but you can get them in you can just get them in kits get yourself a quarter inch impact driver You'll be thanking me later. Uh, so this, it, this is mandatory. Like it's probably the first tool I actually buy. Period. It, that's that's how important it is. Uh, some sort of uh, stud finder, a hammer drill, hammer because hammer function because you never know when you're going to actually need to go into brick, concrete, masonry stuff like that. Another great one is the oscillating tool. Very very versatile tool. Again, with the quarter inch hex, this is what I'd, I'd buy almost first. Um, grinder. You never know. You never. You, I, I break this baby out almost daily for something just ridiculous. I didn't know I had or what was going on. Just get yourself and you get yourself a diamond blade. Cuts through a lot. Lasts for a long time. So circular saw. This is a uh, rear handle. The worm, quote unquote, worm drive circular saw. I have two of these. They're that. They're that important. They're great. You can do a lot. You don't need for this first phase. You don't need a miter saw. You can get pretty by with a circular saw. It or Table saw, you can get by with a circular saw. So you don't need that. Square. There you go. A little six inch square. You can get 12 inches, you can get small ones. Pencil. Obviously, you're gonna need some more pencils. We got the carpenter's pencils, we got those kind of pencils. Vacuum, you make messes. So get yourself a little quarter, you know, a little vacuum, just anything to clean up your own mess. These are your this is your Stanley's made in America panel carry. These are fantastic for saving your back. I call this mandatory. I got a few of these babies. Just for carrying materials because you know you're going to get your square back there as well and then you've got your glow rod get yourself a set of glow rods uh, these are just so you can fish things behind walls if you don't plan on doing any of this then you'd be surprised what you need that for it's ridiculous something just something to carry your uh your hand tools in so it doesn't have to be a veto bag just get a bag something a bucket doesn't matter but carry your, your tools in keep them you know organized if you can but that is your main main things to get going and also i would say um a ladder so i mean you're gonna have to find your i mean get yourself a four six foot ladder something that supports your weight uh because you're gonna need it for sure um you can get by with most everything if i needed to if i only had this i'd throw it in the back of my truck you know i can get a lot of work done with this now granted i'm not nearly nearly as efficient and i can't get everything taken care of but i can get by with this that's for sure uh this is more than enough to get the most things uh, you need to done you know painting drywall you saw those tools just they're super easy super cheap takes practice and you can you can you know be proficient at it as well so plumbing I'll leave that to the plumbers obviously I have plumbing tools I'm not gonna count that as necessary because you can always just hey I'm not messing with it you know go off but you know you sometimes you just need to patch a job you need to paint something you need to fix something you need to you know you cut a coax you need to repair it so that's why I would say this is pretty much necessary all right, let's go into uh, chapter two or phase two of tools. But uh, yeah, uh, this is this is the starting point for sure. All right, phase two of these tools. This is where you're building uh, budget in to your estimates for these tools, and your efficiency, your time is gonna just completely multiply with these tools. It's gonna save you a bunch of time, make you more efficient. Time is money. We all know it. So these tools. Not necessary to get the job done, but may they make the job go by smooth, uh, so much nicer in the quality of life as a contractor. Can't these tools just help you out? That's that's all I gotta say about that. Uh, they make some jobs absolutely um, you, you know possible. 
So, you know, there's jobs where I wouldn't, if I didn't have these tools, then I would be like, nah, I'm not doing it, it's just too much work. You pray, you, if you value your time, you, you'd you be way over way over a customer's budget because it'd take you more hours and I mean days more uh, than it should really because you have these tools. So let's get right into it. All right, so phase two would be a ladder rack. You see the ladder rack? Yeah, it's not here, it's up there because I have a trailer. But if I didn't have a trailer, I'd have a ladder rack just so I can carry larger ladders, I can get to job sites, uh, get yourself a ladder rack, because they are, they are one heck, they are one awesome tool. All right, stationary tower lights. Uh, these are not new to the market. They've been out for years. Uh, DeWalt, McKee, uh, Milwaukee, I'm, there's a bunch, of, most of them make their own uh, tower lights, but stationary lighting is uh, definitely something to invest in if you are already you're getting serious because you'll need lighting it's just you, you'll need it you can't just work with a headlamp all the time all right so get yourself some sturdy i would say some sort of metal or build yourself some really strong saw horses these are tough built or tough cyst i think there's a tough built from uh, home depot yeah tough built right there i have three sets of these there's two of them right here they, they support a really a lot of weight uh, a lot more than the plastic ones from our our you know, our initial uh, setup here, but they absolutely support the weight for sure. All right, stage two would be miter saw. We'll fall into a stage two after you got your you got your circular saw and you got your basics. We just went over. Get yourself a miter saw. Repetitive cuts, easy, efficient. It just makes everything go quicker. If you're getting a miter saw. Either you're getting serious about your efficiency and you are basically turning and burning, making money. So, miner saw. SDS drill. I swear by it. I don't even, I, man, there's, this is one of those tools that's like, I've got no problem anchoring stuff to a concrete foundation, whatever. This is the tool for it. This is absolutely, it's chipper for demo. You can do multiple things with it. Absolutely. Uh, not cheap, but this tool is fantastic. I would go and if it breaks, I'll go and buy another one as a backup. And then when I fix this one, I'll have two because it's that valuable. Um, they are fantastic. They they save so much time and they make certain jobs possible. Um, it's just it, they're great. So you got the if you got the funds and you got the jobs to justify this tool, get it. Router, absolutely. It should probably be on phase one as far as tools, but I got to buy without with it without a you know for a while. So I'll put it in phase two. But man, this is the only tool for the job if the job requires it because it is it. I know there's a couple contractors that got you know woodworkers. They they have multiples of these because they're they're fantastic. This is a quarter inch. They make larger ones. Most of my tools are cordless. They make them cordless, obviously. Man, get get your just doors routing out hinges. I mean, that's, I mean, that other than that, I mean, there's fixing things that is one of the most versatile tools, uh, a carpenter or a contractor can have is a router. They're fantastic. Nailers. If you're tired of swinging a hammer, uh, or you got a compressor with a hose and you're just, that's a good way to go. Absolutely. Nailers. You don't have to go cordless. You can get those compressors, those small little pancake compressors, and you can definitely get by with them and even thrive for sure. Uh, I, I think most contractors have the, the compressors and there's obviously if you're framing an entire house You're not going to do it with a cordless uh, gun. It's just um, You I guess you could I've, I've, done, I've done complete basements and framed that out, but um, you, you know most of them are gonna be you know Hitachi air pneumatic they're gonna be what you need, but Nailers like certain certain jobs were required pin nailer comes in handy 15 gauges the 18 gauges uh, these 18 gauge right there the 16 gauge I don't use too often with the 18 gauge for sure 15 for interior doors framing uh, my two framers right there fantastic absolutely love them both of these just in case you guys want to know they're both pretty much the same as far as weight and everything's pretty much the only thing I like about the Milwaukee is that the high capacity mag for sure and uh, a little bit of sight line on that one too so but they're both fantastic uh, they're, all these nailers are fantastic I will say you can probably skip the 16 gauge. Uh, that's the only thing I'm. That's for what I for what I do. You can skip the 16 gauge, but 
get yourself a pancake compressor. There's you can spend a lot less. You can get all of these for probably the same price as just one of the cordless ones. I'm pretty sure, but <sighs> definitely phase two. If you're if you're as tired of swinging a hammer, get yourself a, a pneumatic or cordless uh, framing gun or all your nailers. Oh, you knew it was gonna be on here. Track saw. Do you need it? Probably not. Does it change your life once you have it? Absolutely. Changes your life as a contractor or handyman. Ripping down doors, sh um, sheet goods for, for sure, sheet goods. Making that nice little cut, that cross cut, it's fantastic. Absolutely. Having a plunge saw on a track is an absolute asset. I've had this thing, I, depending on when this video comes out, we'll have a three year review of this baby. A little spoiler on this one, it's, it's fantastic, absolutely great. Get yourself one, they make quartered versions. Um, DeWalt, Festool, and M Makita are pretty much, and then Fine, I wanna say Fine, yeah, Fine, uh, I, think, I think I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, they all make them, and they're all a little different, but man, let me tell you, there is a absolute um, amazing time when you're doing a job and, you're, and you need to make a straight cut real quick and it's just too crazy to put it on a table saw this just bang this baby out it's fantastic uh there's nothing else i can say about it except that uh get the long tracks for it too i have the uh, 118 inch track up there you can see how long it is but uh yeah get that one so you can you don't have to connect these in, in uh in parallel you can see you can connect them but uh, you don't want to do that all the time yeah uh job side table saw or a table saw period get yourself one yeah you don't need it all the time but when you need to make that one cut and you don't want to bust out a track saw or you actually need to make it absolutely perfect get yourself the fence and just get your get your get your table saw it's no replacement for this bad boy this is pretty nice i've had some issues with uh this one before it's not my first one but it's absolutely great and also you can do dados which is better than the dewalt one I can't say enough about a table saw because it's it's an absolute time saver and it just makes you that better of a carpenter because you can be more accurate. All right, that's phase two. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. Uh, if I missed any tools for you guys, I know you know tile like the specialty trades. If you're a trim carpenter, you're gonna have your nailers. I know. I understand. Stop typing in the comment section about that. This is just a general get things done kind of video, uh, and this is I would. I would, if something happened, I would buy all of these tools in an instant, just, just because I need them. Absolutely, they, they, they just make my life so much easier. And then, uh, phase three, we might do a video on phase three coming up, but that's more of the uh, what I would consider phase three. It might be different for you. Multiple vehicles, multiple tools. Um, you know, kind of expanding your quote unquote business empire. But uh, yeah, there's uh, there. I mean, there's also you can get better tile saws if you're a cabinet maker. You're gonna get your huge, you know, um, corded grizzly table saw, ten inch for you know however much. Yeah, that's all. That's all different. But at the same point, uh, let me know what I missed in this video. Like and subscribe, you guys. We we if you're new to the channel, we upload every Monday and Friday and usual Wednesdays. But we're gonna be taking a break. We'll be doing random Wednesdays. And uh, yeah, that's all we got for this video. Appreciate it.